Construction arcs are transparent modeling aids that you can place in the model to help position other objects more easily. They are not shown or printed in drawings. Construction arcs are also needed when you create lofted objects to define the shape of the lofted plate or slab. To start, click Construction Object and select Arc. You have three options to create an arc. The first option is switched on by default. Pick three points to define the center, start, and end point of the arc. Before picking the last point, you can define the angle or the length of the arc. Note that you can only define one of them, not both at the same time. Enter a value and press Enter to confirm. As you can see, the angle now stays constant, but you can still switch the side of the arc. Similarly, you can restrict the length of the arc. When you are happy with the shape, pick the third point to finish creating the arc. Here's another example in 3D. Let's explore the other options as well. With the second option, you pick three points to define a start point, end point, and a point along the arc. Here's another example of the second option in 3D. You can copy construction arcs just like any other object in Tecla structures. With the third option, you pick three points to define a tangent and two points along the arc. Here are some examples of arcs that can be created with the third option. Now that a construction arc has been created, you can modify it by using direct modification. For example, you can modify the radius and the start and end points. You can also move the entire arc. Finally, double click the arc to see its properties. You can change the color and line type by using these two settings.